Hello and welcome to my channel again. This is Ari Saridin and in this video I'm going to be discussing activity 1 in chapter 4 which is temperature and activity of an organism. Please I would like you to open your books page 70 and 71 while I'm explaining this in order to follow me in each paragraph. We will start by documents A and B that show the change in the color of the lizard as it passes from light to shade. The color of the lizard changes because under sunlight the lizard needs to reflect the light in order to prevent the rapid rise in its internal temperature. So its skin turns clear as you can see here in document A. While in shade the lizard needs to capture light which heats its body and increases its internal temperature so its skin becomes dark. Now document C shows the variation of the lizard's activity and its internal temperature in a sunny day. We can notice that from morning till noon which is from 7 to 14 o'clock the temperature is increasing as you can see it's increasing from 10 to 33 degrees celsius while in the afternoon which is from 14 o'clock till 19 o'clock the temperature decreases so this is the afternoon before I start asking you, I want you to pause the video after each question and try to find the answer. First, I want you to indicate the internal temperature of the lizard when its activity is minimum and when its, when its activity is maximum. When the internal temperature is below 18 as you can see here it's between 10 and 18 and here it's between 15 and 18 okay so when the internal temperature is below 18 degrees celsius the activity of the lizard is minimal while when the internal temperature is between 30 and 31 degrees celsius the activity of the lizard is maximum which is 100 percent also from this document i want you to try to explain why the lizard's activity decreases at 13 to 14 o'clock in fact the lizard's activity decreases because its internal temperature rises above 31 degrees Celsius. So the lizard will decrease its activity in order to decrease its internal temperature. Okay? At last, I will ask you to describe the relation between the lizard's activity and its internal temperature. The activity of the lizard is null when its temperature below 18 degrees Celsius. This activity begins when the internal temperature of the lizard rises higher than 18 degrees Celsius. To become optimum or maximum at 30 degrees Celsius. By this temperature the heat reduces again the lizard's activity as you can see here as it passes from 31 to 33 degrees celsius the heat decreases again there is the lizard's activity now we will analyze the table of document c of document d sorry document d shows the variation of lizard's te internal temperature as a function of the air temperature. This, we can consider it the external temperature. 
So we can say it's the variation of the lizard's internal temperature as a function of the external temperature. Now, as you can see that the external temperature is increasing, it's always increasing, as well as the internal temperature of the lizard is also always increasing. So, while analyzing this table, we should only mention the first and the last point. Okay? So, we will say, as the external temperature increases from minus 2 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius, the lizard's temperature increases from minus 2 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius. Now, what can you, you conclude from this analysis? Or what can we conclude from this analysis? As you see, the internal temperature of the lizard varies with the variation of the external temperature. So the lizard is a poikilotherm. Okay? So we have two classifications of animals, poikilotherms and homeotherms. The animals that have a variable internal temperature are called poikilotherms. So, by this document, we can conclude that the lizard is a poikilotherm and, it, it's, and its internal temperature varies with the variation of the external temperature. Now, we will start by paragraph 2 that talks about the vol or a mouse. We will start by document F, page 71. Document F shows the vol's internal temperature as a function of the external temperature. I will ask you to analyze the table of document F. As you notice that the external temperature increases in the first part till here, then it decreases. So, while analyzing this table, you have to talk about three points. So, the answer will be as the external temperature increases from minus 4 degrees Celsius till 9 degrees Celsius, the internal temperature of the vol remains constant at 38 degrees Celsius. Then, as the external temperature decreases from 9 degrees Celsius to minus 2 degrees Celsius, the internal temperature of the vol also remains constant at 38 degree Celsius. So as you see here, whatever the, in the external temperature is, the internal temperature of the vol stays constant at 38 degree Celsius. Now, what can we conclude concerning the classification of the vol? We can conclude that the vol is a homeotherm since its internal temperature is constant and doesn't depend on the external temperature. So as a summary, we can say that animals are classified according to their internal body temperature into homeotherms that have a constant body temperature and poikilotherms that have a variable body temperature. Now, in homeotherms, if the external temperature drops, its internal temperature stay constant and its activity doesn't affect it. While in poikilotherm, if the external temperature drops, 
its internal temperature drops also and it becomes inactive. Thank you for watching. See you later.